In this series, we're going to look at uh, Mimikatz to sort of examine the N NTLM hash. We're going to look at the SAM database. We're going to look at a process called LSAS, and uh, we're going to kind of take a look at password hashes. Uh, we'll do a little password cracking as well here. So um, I'm on a Windows server machine here on Amazon Web Services, and I've taken the pre-step of installing Firefox because I'm too lazy to set internet settings and reboot it. So you might want to just install Firefox because it makes things a little bit easier when you get your Windows server machine spun up. Uh, take a second and then just Google for, um, you'll Google like this, just download Mimikatz inside of Firefox, and it's going to take you to the GitHub page. Uh, when we download it, we're going to have some issues, though. So pause the video, install Firefox in Windows Server on Amazon Web Services, get to this web page. That may take a minute, right? Okay, so when we scroll down here, we're going to see Mimikatz uh, trunk.zip. Uh, I'm going to download that. We're going to have a couple of issues here. I'm going to click save and we're going to get flagged here as this is a bad file. Firefox is going to say, that, you know, this is definitely has some malicious uh, signature to it here. Um, so you can just click open. All right. And it's going to take you to where the downloads are and we're good. So now I'm going to right click on the Mimikatz trunk and I'm going to extract all. great and then under x64 I'm gonna kick in there and we see that our Windows Defender is lighting up and all kinds of things are happening but we have Mimikatz here now if we try to run that it'll be removed by Windows Defender so here I am under Windows Defender settings we're gonna click on virus and threat protection and Windows Defender is gonna reset this every time I'm gonna go under virus and threat protection settings we're gonna manage settings uh, we can turn off real-time protection, and that's going to be okay. But if we restart the computer, this will be turned on unless we go in and we set the group policy for that to turn it off. So let's do that. And here I am inside of GP Edit. And so uh, the policy is you go under, and you can look this up, GP Edit uh, Real-Time Protection Windows Defender, and you'll find where it is. Computer Configuration Administrative Templates. Windows Components, and under Windows Components, we click on Windows Defender Antivirus, and then we've got all the things here. And in some of the later Cyber Patriot rounds, you want to pay attention to what they've done in here. And so uh, we're going to turn off real-time protection for future reboots, because we're probably going to reboot this, and I'm going to enable. I like the fact that it tells you everything about this. In order to be successful in Cyber Patriot, it's a good idea to kind of live in this group policy kind of a view and read all the things. Um, so there we go. Um, and yeah, so now we've got our real-time protection turned off and Mimikatz is hopefully not going to be a big problem for us. So, and let's uh, test this out. You're going to want to run this as administrator when we get there, but here I am in my extracted Mimikatz. And I'll go ahead and um, for now, I'm just going to open it and I'm going to choose run. And you should have Mimikatz open just like this if you're all there. Uh, we're going to call it quits for this video, and uh, we'll take a look at more stuff in the next video. Thank you.